Gary, can v three Billericay nil disappointing result on the road. What were your thoughts on today's game? Well, it was deserved. Um, I think we can't get away from that. I think we have to credit Canvey and Brad and you know how he set his team up. He was aggressive in the you know his selection with the two strikers today, and that paid dividend. You know we have to be accountable for the two goals that we conceded in the first half. But we've had an awful lot go against us today, Chris. And and I'm not going to sit here and criticise my players on the back of that because I thought the players are. Especially the ones that played that first 30-35 minutes of the second half acquitted themselves really, really well. Um, you know, it was um, you know, it was disappointing. I thought the first goal that we conceded was really disappointing. I thought there was a foul in the build up to it, but credit must go to the forward because he's worked himself away from his marker and and he's finished well. And the, the, the ball in was excellent. But if you look at the build up to that, and I know it sounds like we're we're, we're trying to find excuses, but there's a, there's a blatant foul on Matty Johnson, you know, in front of the two dugouts at both benches, are la you know, laughing at not it not being given, including theirs. You know, it was it then gets transferred into the middle pit, middle of the pitch. Adam Levers gives a, uh, you know, a, a, I wouldn't say a needless foul, but it's a rash challenge that leads to his first booking. It then leads to the free kick that, that you know leads to the goal there. You know, it sort of had a knock-on effect, but like I've just said, we have to credit Canvey. Uh, I'm disappointed. I said no one wants to to be party to a you know a derby defeat, um, even if it is on the road in very very tough conditions and tough circumstances. You know, it's the two defeats they've served us up, and I know the fans are are be noisy and crit so you know very critical of, of of the result, but a lot's gone against us today, Chris. The pitch cut up quite badly. There was a lot of rain on it. I mean, in previous days leading up to the game as well, mm. um, the referee set his stall out early by making what we thought was a very poor decision booking Ryan Henshaw mm. when Ryan clearly won the ball. Um, do you think he should have been more lenient with conditions as they were? No, I don't think lenient is the right word. I mean, it was it was tough conditions, but it was tough conditions for both teams. I think, like I've just done, I've just credited Brad and Canvey. I thought they played the conditions and maybe the officials better than we did. Um, and that's you know been a theme on a few occasions this year that we've just not had that edge to us. I think the resentment towards the badge is is clear, um, and I've said that and shared that with the players, but. I thought Ryan Henshaw's challenge was a was a fantastic tackle. I really did. You know, it was an old school challenge on a on a real muddy, wet pitch that I don't think anyone in the ground thought it was even in a foul. And it was another one where their bench turned and sort of smoked and laughed, uh, Chris. You know, it was, and he books him and gives a free kick. It was just, you know, it was a it was an odd decision at an early stage in the game that maybe you're right did set the president for the rest of presidents for the rest of the game and you know I didn't you know I've just been in with the official after and I've tried to be as respectful as I possibly can because you know what's going to be aimed at us that we've got lack of discipline and you know it's a it's another couple of cautions for dissent um, one on the bench one on the pitch it's another red card um, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed with the second red card, if I'm being honest. I'm disappointed with the individual involved, and I've shared that. But, um, you know, he's adamant he was talking to the player and not the ref. But, you know, it's his word against the ref, and we know where that ends up normally. Um, but it was, it was, you know, it was proper old-school football conditions, and both teams have got to adapt. It's the same for both teams, and, you know, we never adapted as well as they did. So we move on to Tuesday, the Velocity Trophy. Uh, how do we pick ourselves up for that? Well, I don't move on too quickly because I will want to dissect that uh, defeat. And you know, and as I've just said, there's been an awful lot going against us. Um, you know, the change room are bickering at, 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 at the end, and I, you know, it, it tells me they care. But that's there's no time for that. You know, when you've had a disappointing defeat like we've had, we've got to stick together. We've got to create that siege mentality. I mean, results have sort of gone for us today in terms of the, you know, the teams from sort of third down. I mean, obviously Chatham have had a really good win, but you know, we've got to pick ourselves back up and pick ourselves back up quickly. The the target is to finish in the top two. The first position is looking a little bit too far away, but we, you know, we'll keep plugging away. Today's a you know, damaging defeat, as I've just said, but uh, you know, we'll, um, we've got a good game on Tuesday night against a team that set, sit 
uh, directly above us. I'm not sure what sort of team they'll play, but we'll be playing a team that's relatively strong because we need to get back you know, on track and on track very, very quickly on the back of uh, a really disappointing defeat. Um, you know, we'll take the criticism that comes our way. There's one or two that, you know, that like to jump on and criticise quite quickly, and you know, we've got to accept that today. And it's a it's a derby defeat, and and that's not a nice one for the fans. And I'm not going to sit here and apologise because I don't think that's right, Chris. You know, we win and we lose together, both fans, board, and and changing room. And today's a, a defeat that we've all got to take together. Gary, thank you. You're welcome as always. Cheers.